Hi everyone, this is Mahmu Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about system programs. Okay, so here I have listed down some points. We will try to understand this concept of system programs with the help of these points. Okay, and uh, I have also drawn the hierarchy of computer here with which we can clearly understand this concept of system programs. Okay, so now let us first start our discussion with the first point. Okay, so now the system programs provide an environment where programs can be developed and executed. So these programs provides the user an environment with which we can create various applications, we can develop applications, we can execute those applications. Okay, uh, like we have an example of compilers. Okay, we, we have various compilers like C, C++ compiler, Java compiler. Okay, so these compilers helps us to run various programs these compilers allows the users to develop various programs or to develop various applications and these compilers allows the users to execute various programs we have one example as compiler as i have told you and linkers assemblers okay, so these are termed as system programs these uh, they allows the users to develop various applications and they gives us an environment where we can develop various programs where we can execute various applications okay now the next point is some of them are simply user interface to system calls okay and there are various types of system programs some of the system programs allows the users to execute and develop various applications whereas some of the system programs are only the user interface their responsibility is only to generate any system call okay now the next point is system programs also provides a bridge between the user interface and system calls okay so in our earlier videos we have already discussed the concept of system calls Okay. and these system programs provides a bridge between the user interface and the system calls next point system programs acts as a part of operating system since with this system programs we can perform various activities okay we will be uh, making use of the system programs lot of time while performing any activities in a computer since we are using these system programs quite a lot that's why they became a part of the operating system next point system programs resides just above the computer hierarchy okay so if you look at the hierarchy of computer you will find the system programs located just above the operating system okay as you can see here uh, we have hardware components and devices be placed at the very bottom of the computer hierarchy uh, which includes mouse keyboard printer scanner monitor okay cpu okay so all this comes under the hardware devices and these hardware devices are located at the very bottom of computer hierarchy okay. and above this hardware devices our operating system will be installed Okay. and above the operating system we have system programs which I have already told you that system programs are compilers loaders linkers and assemblers okay. so they have their own responsibility these system programs provides a convenient platform or an environment to the users to develop and execute various applications okay and above the system programs we have an application programs like ms word browser video editor movie player or any application with which a user can interact okay and these are these are called as user interface okay now we are at the user interface layer where user will be represented with interfaces with which user will interact okay so this is the um, hierarchy of computers and here we discuss what is system programs as you can see system programs 
lies above the operating system and which includes compilers loaders linkers and assemblers okay so they have their own roles and responsibilities okay and we have various categories of system programs as well which we will be going to see in our next video okay so in this video we have discussed few points regarding system programs okay, so i hope you understood each and every point of this and uh, i hope you clear with the concept of system programs okay and we have also seen the diagram of computer hierarchy okay so uh, that's all for this video and if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching